Okay, getting straight into it. Looks like we're still at Blast Furnace making steel bars. We have just over 600 with 2k coal and 1k iron ore spare. I won't be doing all the steel bars in one go. I prefer just doing one run a day, which is about 550-ish, because I can then use the Explorer's Ring twice and not use that many strange fruit. I think only, I only have to use like two or three. And because I'm never going to make energy pots, I just want to preserve them as far as long as I can. So 50 smithing as well. It's a nice level, don't really need it for anything, but nice enough. Back to fishing, uh, soon enough we, there will be no more fishing clips, it's just that this is a very important level because angler fish are good for the account if I ever want to get them unlocked. I just need to get 100% in the Piscatorius house now. And it's like a mini Gothic's Rest as I said before, so very nice. So we're still at Winter Tot. Once again, like fishing, Winter Tot will be finishing up soon enough. I just need a few more fletching levels because I think at 69 fletching I can make rune crossbows and at 61 I can make Addy. And Addy crossbows will be really good for this account because they're easy to acquire and I don't mind dying with them. So it actually took me 267 crates to get the full pyro gear. That seems quite unlucky when they're like all 1 in 150 I think. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I don't really need the uh, extra experience, I just found it funny that it took me that long to get the full gear. But here we are back again at Winter Tart with it looks like 61 fletching. So 61 must be Addy Crossbows, and as I've already got the Myth one, same place where I bought that. Very easy to acquire. I can die with these hundreds of times and it won't matter. Getting the Rune Crossbow back would be a little bit harder. It'll either have to be through Metal Dragons or the Crazy Archaeologist. So Addy Crossbows are nice, easy, accessible crossbows to acquire. 95 making. It's a nice milestone level, but that's about it. It's kind of nice to look on on the account, but oh well. Looks like we're starting our cooking grind now. We will eventually have to get cooking up for anglers anyway, and I'm guessing these are just the supplies I got from Winter Tot because I don't think I've ever caught a lobster. So 55 cooking, nice enough. I will be having, I, sorry, I will have to do mess hole eventually if I want to get cooking up because I don't really want to fish random uh, supplies. Or well, fish, I guess. 55 smithing. I haven't shown a smithing level through cannonballs in quite a while, but I have 3.5k in the bank. Ah, that's quite nice. It's just passive. I'm, I don't think I... I probably have spare ones in the bank as well. Yeah, like 2.7k in the bank as well. Uh, once I finally start my Slayer grind hard, I'll have a lot of cannonballs, so that's nice. Now, this is interesting. So, one of the hardest quests in the game for me will be Shadow of the Storm, because it's an instance area, and I want to recoil as much as I possibly can. And this is actually the best food I have to do that, because it does actually have a mage hit, so I could theoretically tick eat it. So with these, I can try and get uh, Mage Arena complete, which is for the cape obviously, the god cape, and Shadow of the Storm complete. I would want as many... Um, sorry, I, I would want these for Shadow of the Storm, because it holds 10 food compared to anything else I have. Even though the food only heals one each, it doesn't matter with tick eating, I just want to have as much food as possible, and I'm pretty sure the demon has 120 health. Maybe it's 100 health, but even with regeneration, it will be at least up 110, because it will take me so long to tick eat it. But I've got about 20 packets of each, uh, what are they, onions, cabbages, and potatoes. So here we are with Mage Arena. I've had to lower my mage, actually I don't know why I don't have iron armor on, but if you see in the top left corner, I've lowered my mage so I can get tick eating. So, it looks like we're doing pretty good with the tick eating. It's now dead already, so that's good. Except for the fact that this is not an instance area. I don't know why I haven't learnt this yet. <laughs> I need to do damage if it's not an instance area. I'm like, ah, damn it. I'm now deciding whether or not it's worth it, because I've got everything set up, but I would have to kill like four or five forms with one damage each, and at the moment, that's not worth it. So, I let it go. If I need to get it done later, I can. I'm now just moving on, and I totally forgot a Torstal. <laughs> I have a Dr. Jekyll, I have no run energy. I'm trying to get down to, um, where is it, like the fishing trawler area, so I can go to the bank and get one out, because maybe he won't despawn there. I'm going to try to talk to him, and maybe he'll stay with me. Uh, no. I think that's like three or four in a row now, where I haven't had a Torstal. Getting a little bit annoyed. But I'm going to start the medium glue, gr uh, sorry, the medium clue grind, kind of. So this is where I catch Ecolectics and uh, bank them. Now, a lot of Iron Men just c catch them, bank them, come back. But because I'm using the north of Ardi farm, 
all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep opening them until I get a medium clue, drop everything else unless maybe it's planks or something useful, and then fill out my inven with uh, eclectic implings because it's going to take me a long time and I don't want to just do eclectics without having access to Puro Puro freely. So first medium clue of the um, of the day and nothing super useful. I'll show what I get from these eclectics, but I'm not going to do any more. It's obvious if I get a medium clue from here, I'll just continue on. Very lucky, a wild pie. This is actually the best thing I could possibly get. So very happy about that. Uh, Slayer Respites, the one two to the right of uh, wild pies, aren't super useful. I mean, they boost my Slayer up by two, but unless I want to get 73, wild pies are just so much better. And there we go with another medium clue. So pretty lucky in 22 clue. Uh, sorry, in 22 eclectics, I got. So, Wild Pie, Slayer's, Slayer's Respite, and a Medium Clue, so, nice. While I was doing this Medium Clue, I found a Dragon Impling in the wild, I think it's my second one ever, and I just get out a jar from my jar generator, because I'm, I have it all in my invent, because I was going to go back to Pure Pure anyway, and catch a Dragon Impling. Sadly, Dragon Bones are now the most useless drop on this account. Anything else would have been better, because it would be an Alkable or some type of ammunition, but it's fine. It's uh, a bit funny that I got it now, but oh well. So, uh, next medium clue, a U short bow. It's not too bad. I can use that for Temple of Ikov. And actually, I think I could probably make that because I have 60 fletching now. But it's all good. I have it. Don't have to worry about making one. And I have an, I found another Dragon Impling. It's literally been five minutes since the last one. I don't even look for them here. I just go back to catch uh, Eclectics, and I just found one in this world. So, <laughs> quite random. I got another medium clue. I'm not going to show all the invents. The only reason I showed this one is because I got blue dehyde chaps, which will be my best in slot range chaps, obviously, once I get 50 range. My very first pair. They're as rare as wild pies, but that's fine. I'm pretty happy I got those. Next medium clue, and we get a lot of uniques, like a mitre, a full helm, page, and a banner. Now, the mitre is really good, actually. The only three items I wanted from medium clues were a mitre, a god cape and ranger boots, because two for the prayer bonus and then obviously ranger boots would be very nice for this count for obvious reasons. So that's really nice, I got five prayer bonus, uh, I just need two more items and then theoretically I won't be doing medium clues again. I'd still do eclectics for wild pies, but I would just stop doing the medium clues because no real need and with horror from the deep not looking very feasible at the moment, I don't really need the pages and if I do I'll just do easy clues. Now I came back to Mage Arena because someone told me if I am still in combat with it while tick eating it, or while it gets recoiled down from tick eating, it will die, but I'm not too sure about this. So I did a couple of splashes on it, tried to tick eat, I didn't actually get my mage lower, so as you can see it's taking very hard, but nah, I didn't get the kill. I can't be bothered, maybe I'll do it later. I, wanna, I was doing good tick eating though, so I want to go try Shadow of the Storm. Uh, obviously Shadow of the Storm prerequisite is the Golem quest. So, the hardest quest I will... I will say this is the hardest quest I've ever had to try and attempt on this account. I can't think of anything else that would be harder. Is 100% Shadow of the Storm. So here we go. I've got my invent set up. I've brought the uh, sacks of potatoes and stuff. Looks like my tick eating's going alright. Two times at 1 HP. I misclick. I just get the tick eating in time. And not even close. I mean, it looks like I was panicking. I, sure enough, I lose all the uh, stuff I had, but it wasn't anything too important. Just the sacks. I think my iron armor I can get back. Uh, just looked a bit nervous, to be honest. So I come back again. I've got more sacks. I have a bit more space this time because I feel like I don't need as many sacks as I had. I just need to make sure that I have enough food to keep ticketing and that I can hide behind the pillar when needed. It does teleport me, and I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I didn't tick eat in time, or it just stacked me out. So I come back a third time. I'm going to try and hide behind the pillar a much more if I can. It teleports me. Any pillar is fine. But it looks fine. That was a pretty good tick eat. Got down to 1 HP. I have to make sure I have as much food in my inventory as possible, because once I get nervous, I kind of forget what happens. Looking pretty good, and then I hit a 2. It looked like I tick eat, right? But I'm, I'm not sure... So, maybe it was just lag. Once again, I get my mage level down, which means I have to go to Cockatrices. Every single time I'm doing this, I have to go to Cockatrices, run back, set this all up. It takes about, I don't know, maybe seven minutes per attempt. And then I get stacked out. I, I'm not sure what's happening here. 
Maybe I just got unlucky because it was able to stack both hits together and I'm not able to tick eat that. So I decided to come again and just hope for the best. I want to eat as soon as I can every single time, but it keeps teleporting me towards it, which makes it a lot harder to tick eat. But otherwise, I'm still alive, so everything's going good, and then it hits a 7. It looked like I ate at the right time then, so I decided to test it out with just iron and cabbages. I want to finish off every cabbage before I die, and I want to make sure that I am tick eating. And then I go hit again. It looks like because it teleported me towards it, maybe that's why I went wrong. So I decided to try one more time and see what happens. Alright? It one shot me. There is no way. that I ate at the right time. I checked that recording like five times, and I didn't see anything wrong with it. So I decided to take a break. The Shadow of the Storm quest has beat me so far. I will try a new method. Maybe I'll have to poison it or do something else. But I'll leave it alone for now. 60 farming. I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.